want you to take a look at this picture. It is a downtown area, but it looks like a ghost town. Stores shuttered, people moving out. This happening right now in our region. So Paul Kiska went to Lorraine, which is losing another business this weekend. So many vacant storefronts here along Broadway Avenue in Lorraine, some say it's like a ghost town. Robert, is it fair or unfair to say that parts of downtown Lorraine look like a ghost town? Yes, it's fair to say. That. Safety Service Director Robert Fowler told me 60% of buildings in downtown Lorraine are vacant. Mainstays like Driscoll Music, Charleston Coffee, and Lorraine Novelty closed or closing. Uh, it's kind of sad, really, because uh, the city used to thrive. After 40 years, Rackage and Rackage Clothing survives. Getting out of the suit business and into the police uniform business, where manager Brandon Rackage says this, Lorraine's scenic lakefront is the key to new development. We have a lot of resources that are untapped for Lorraine and marketable things that need to be taken advantage of, especially the waterfront. Monday, Lorraine council members will consider rezoning downtown as an entertainment district, hoping to attract restaurants by making it easier to get a liquor license. Fowler promises that doesn't mean a bunch of bars. Why should a business open up in downtown Lorraine? Well, we offer uh, a larger population than many other suburban communities. Uh, we have the lakefront. The riverfront. And the idea is the entertainment district does encompass the lakefront. Lose. That was Paul Kiska reporting. There is some good news. Lorraine will host the Rockin' on the River concert series next summer, and there's talk of converting the Spitzer building into apartments.